Guess what? We're back. It's a repo we got right here in her life. I come and go like a ra ra ra. They don't want the two be going na na na. I'm coming back with the money in the bag. The roof is in my lap, yeah I'm running with the cash. I'm coming go like a ra ra ra. Putting in a word like I'm way behind. Still trapping on the low low, lurking in the mold like I'm running from the pole. Yeah, I oh, yeah. kept it up cause I'm a hero in my own town. Whoa, we just running on our own. Now. I got three repos we're going to go get this morning. I couldn't record this one off the beginning because it was really, really dark outside and it just like lightened up so quick right now. But they were real cool, man. It's a young dude and a mother. Uh, he's a little behind, man. And his payments are only like a hundred dollars a month, man. So. They really worked with him, dude, and uh, I don't know. It's a shame, man. I hate taking people's vehicles and shit. This guy right here, look. He got all bent up and shit. <laughs> Put my tail lights in last night, but uh, I'll fill you guys in what's wrong with the truck as we get uh, going, so uh, let's go. Got up here, we just dropped that Jeep chair and carry off. Now we got another one right here in Seaford. We gotta go hit. Let's go. This is a really, really good morning. We got this guy. Remember the guy that slashed all his tires on that short video I did? The uh, repo going wrong where he drove on the back of my bed and uh, slashed all his tires? Well, guess what? Got his ass again. This car, uh, auto shop he was getting work done to it he doesn't have a fucking cadillac converter on it the whole fucking cat's going off this bitch <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get this one uh down to the lot real quick and then i gotta shoot out the uh graysonville for a tow for a giro this is the first tow for a giro since we going back so uh i forget what type of car it is i'll update you guys on that in a little bit but uh Let's go ahead and get this one back to the lot. I was going to take it back down to Hopkins, down in Seaford. But that's like 45 minutes from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this one up to the lot. And then uh, head on our way to Graysonville. Because Graysonville is about 25 minutes from our lot as well. So let's go ahead and get that done. And it's uh, staying in Graysonville too. So it's not really going that far. But not a bad way to start in the morning. A thousand bucks already. So... Let's go, y'all. So we just dropped this, uh... Ooh, let me crawl through here. Remember this infamous vehicle? That's the one that rode up on the back of the lift in that repo going wrong video I got. Hey, y'all, rode up on the back of that ended up proceeding to slash every single one of his tires. And I'm out here trying to catch up, did a couple repos this morning. Sorry I couldn't record so much footage, but I got a lot of calls right now I'm backed up on, and we're just trying to knock them out. But I did get two repos this morning. Now we're on our way to our first call for a Giro. This is a uh, 07 Honda Odyssey, so that's a van. It doesn't say what's wrong with it, but we're only towing it two miles down the street. We're out here in Graysonville on this Honda Odyssey call. It's in a really nice development here. You got kids and everything. This would be a really nice um, field for sports and all of that good stuff. Uh, we're going about two miles down the road. We're going to Willard's. It's a um, it's an auto mechanic shop right here in Graysonville. Like I said, it's only not even two miles down the road. Um, like I was saying, I'll touch up a little bit more on what happened with the truck. So, as you guys know, as you guys know, on Sunday, last Sunday, the truck broke down. The truck broke down when I was completing the call out there in um, Harrington. Shifter cable broke. 
So once I got that fixed, I, they couldn't get my truck started. So it ended up needing all new glow plugs. I had to get eight new glow plugs. And then once they got the glow plugs in, they got it fired right back up instantly. And then it just shut right back off. Ended up needing two new injectors. And uh, now she runs really, really good. It just glides. The shifter glides like a brand new truck. Everything's just updated, man. Yeah. It may cost a lot of money, but it's worth it in the end. And the way the lift is operating is really good. Everything's just really good. And um, I'm real happy with how it is. I'm not happy with the bill, but I am happy with the progress of the truck. So let's go, guys. We're about to uh, load this Explorer back up or Expedition, whatever the hell it is. We're going to get it down to Seaford up there to Hopkins Auto. They are looking forward to this one because this guy has been such a nuisance ever since that uh, incident before, what was it, right before uh, Thanksgiving where he popped all the tires on it. He's still been wanting since then. So he has yet to pay a payment on here since. And we got him. I think the motherfucker cut his own Cadillac converters off and sold them because there's two of them on here. But I'm going to go ahead and get hooked up and uh, get out of here. Let's go. Yeah, I make decisions to glow Ridiculous flow, potential to glow You know, I, I just do that Consolidate my reasons, line it up Put them together, anyone that ever let me down Forget them forever it It's crazy because When he popped all his tires, man He had to get four new tires put on here Or used tires, I thought Because he was back up running again The next day And, look Those motherfuckers are bald. These look decent on the outside. Bald, wire showing. Bald. Getting there. That man was living a rough life, man. No wonder he popped all the tires and trying to do everything to prevent that repo. But, uh,. Let's go ahead and get up there because it's going to take us like 30 minutes to get up to um, Seaford, get that dropped off, and then get to the next one. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. charge 50 to 65 dollars I mean it, it shouldn't be really more than that I mean a lot of people are charging 100 120 to do that but nobody's calling them no more but the way I uh, bid my jobs I always do a hooked fee automatically of uh, 75 dollars and then I do 250 a mile 250 to four dollars a mile depending on the type of vehicle it is and I do um, 250 for in route two from the shop to there so it really, it really equals out lower than what a normal towing company would give for a rate, but it really gives me a good sense of what I'm getting paid a mile, and I get a hook fee and everything else. So, I mean, it ensures that I get paid pretty decent, but the customer 
gets a fair price as well. So, we ain't doing that too. Long story short, remember that boat always been complaining about? Well, the weld finally broke on it. But we're gonna try to find somewhere that carries this boat and I'm gonna go to my mother's house and go ahead and try to get it welded up. I don't know if anywhere has the bolt, if I am find anywhere it at least has the piece of metal that can stick together and then weld both sides. I'm gonna try whatever I can do. Um, I really don't know yet. Maybe I can do two pieces on each side and stick them together and then do something like that. I don't know. Like I said, it's always something, man. <laughs> Just get my truck back not even two days ago, and here we are, broke down again. So, if y'all are ready for this life, then come join. If you ain't built for this, if you can't recover from this, go somewhere else. You know what I mean? I don't mean to be hard. I'm just not going to sugarcoat nothing because it's tough out here, guys. Especially if you're doing it all off of your own money and no finance or anything. No credit. Let's go. Try to catch me howling at the moon. All right, guys. We're out here uh, fixing up the boom right here. I got a new pin with a cotter pin on each side. All right, so I'm going to get back to grinding the rest of this clip right here. On the edge of each side of the pen, it's got just a little bit overhang that hits the sides right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop that off. Homer's got it on uh, one side. I think the other side might be good. I'll just hit it back over this way a little bit. And then I think it'll be good for enough. So let's get grinding. Alright, so we just got both ends grinded up on here, and uh, let's see how she works, man. All right, we got exactly what we wanted to see. I mean, it's working a little slow on the lifting up and down. I don't know why. I don't know if the hydraulics are just cold right now or what, but in the cold weather, I mean, my hydraulics work like shit sometimes. And I know they probably just did a full fucking, actually, I don't think they even uh, flushed the hydraulic system when they just redid my hydraulics. So might be something I'll probably do here shortly. Um, there's a lot of things I gotta do. There's a lot of money I've been missing. This truck has really put me down. It's put me in a tough spot right now. And uh, just trying to figure out where to go from here, y'all. And I know the way is up, but it's tough right now. It feels like I'm starting all over from scratch almost. Like, it's weird. It's a weird fucking feeling this truck has put me in, but uh, it ain't gonna stop me. I'm determined. But uh, off to the next. Who ain't who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool. Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you because I stand tall like I'm on my tiptoes. Baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info pronto. I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily, and I'm the type of.
Instagram, I changed my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took a slumber.